So we'll be talking about an artwork from the most prominent Aboriginal artist, Emily Kamei Nomore, which is called Earth's Creation, created in 1994. Earth's creation is styled as contemporary Indigenous Australian art. It is part of her private collection, has four panels, the material is synthetic polymer paint on linen mounted on canvas, and Emily made this art piece for her own personal expression. Noari used the dumping dot technique as she makes colors on her brush as she pushes the brush on the canvas and it disperses the bristles as she is using her pounding method to enable layers of color in her movement. There is an abundance of an excitement and energy throughout the flow of colors. She uses original brush strokes and abstraction. It was produced by double dipping brush strokes into impressions with barricaded outlines. Now with this beautiful painting, it represents everything and in Noari's words, she refers it to as a whole lot. Earth's creation has four panels and measures to 6.25 by 2.75. The painting originated in Utopia, Australia. She puts a lot of depth and form, which depicts the naturalism and womanly femininity coming from Utopia. Aboriginal art was assimilated as a written language since the Australian Aboriginal people didn't have a language of their own. And so the fundamental stories central to the people's culture are based on the traditional symbols and historical information which go along with detailed stories, cultural songs or dances to help evolve or pass on prominent knowledge, messages, and preserve their culture. Among Aboriginal paintings, there were a various amount of iconography in the art artwork. Aboriginal artists painted ancient and important stories that resembled their heritage. Emily Kame used dots to hide secret information all with her technique of overdotting, which was used. And she worked to record her important stories in a powerful body of work. When the Aboriginal people were concerned that the white men would be able to see their sacred and hidden knowledge, they referred back to the Aboriginal art. Earth's creation obtained spiritual teachings, knowledge, and cultural behavior. This work marked the highest selling price piece by a female Australian artist with the use of color and pseudo geometric patterns. Emily is Australia's most prominent Aboriginal artist and was the first Aboriginal to have a work sell for over a million dollars. And it remains the only Australian of any background to have any knowledge of training in art and painting in a way that has never been seen before. Along with Emily's Earth's creation, the emphasis on Emily's paintings is on the spiritual meaning based on the tradition of her people. Emily chose to demonstrate a very broad insight of the land and Australian life. The form that her paintings take are lively and moving. Colors merge and transform to communicate a powerful message. She has gone from certain subjects to show her abstraction, we eventually move beyond her cultural lens. The remarkable and famous artwork, its creation, overall impacted and influenced artists both culturally and spiritually, even to the state.